Continuing our bladder cancer education, let's talk about one of the most common types of surgeries that somebody may have if they have a bladder tumor, and that's known as a transurethral removal of a bladder tumor, which is typically the first line of treatment that is given if somebody has the most common type of bladder cancer, which is known as non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. This surgery uses a specific tool known as a cytoscope, which is actually outside of the body, but this long, thin rod is able to go through the urethra into the bladder. This allows the surgeon to actually see inside of the bladder and locate the tumor because the cytoscope is connected to a monitor. They can also pass surgical tools through those fibers to help cut out the tumor or tumors that they find. They can then collect those tumors and send them off to pathology for further investigation. Now, depending on someone's risk factors, they may only have one of these surgeries, but they could have another surgery a few months later or additional treatments, such as the BCG treatment, which is that immunotherapy that we've talked about before that goes into the bladder to help clear out any of the remaining cancer cells. Or they may have the mitomycin C or MMC treatment that we've talked about before, which is a chemotherapy drug that can go into the bladder and help to prevent those cancer cells from further dividing. So it's important to talk to your surgeon as well as to know your other treatment options in order to minimize your risk of having a bladder tumor reoccurrence.